Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about RAM chip and ROM chip in computer architecture course, computer organization course and computer organization and architecture course. RAM stands for random access memory. ROM stands for read only memory. RAM and ROM belongs to the main memory or our primary memory. Figure A shows the block diagram of a RAM chip. The capacity of the RAM chip is 128 into 8. That means the RAM chip consists of 128 words. Each word contains 8 bits. Next one, the RAM chip contains 5 inputs. The first two inputs are chip select control inputs that are denoted by CS1 and CS2 bar. These chip select control inputs are used for enabling the RAM chip only when it is selected by the CPU. So, for enabling the RAM chip, we have to use two chip select control inputs that are CS1 and CS2 bar. Next one, RD stands for read input that is used for performing read operation. WR stands for write input that is used for performing the write operation. AD7 is nothing but 7 address lines, 7 bit address, 7 bit address. These 7 bit address is used for selecting only one word among the 128 words. So, the RAM chip contains 128 words. Suppose we want to select only one word among the 128 words, we have to use 7-bit address. How we are getting 7-bit address? So, 128 can be written in terms of 2 powers. So, we are getting 7 in the power. So, 7 bits are required to select any word among the 128 words in the RAM chip. Next one, this is 8-bit bidirectional data bus. So, bidirectional data bus that allows the transfer of data either from the RAM to the CPU or are from the CPU to the RAM so that we have to use bidirectional data bus. During the read operation, the transfer of data from RAM chip to the CPU can be done. During the write operation, the transfer of data from CPU to the RAM can be done. Okay. What is read operation? The transfer of data from the RAM to the CPU. What is write operation? The transfer of data from CPU to the RAM. Okay. So, the data can be transferred in two directions so that we have to use bidirectional data bus. It contains 8 bits. Next one. Uh, figure B shows the function table of a RAM chip. This function table specifies the operation of the RAM chip. The first column contains four inputs. Chip select 1, that is nothing but CS1. Chip select 2, that is nothing but CS2 bar. Next one, RD is nothing but read input. WR is nothing but write input. Now, chip select control inputs are not enabled without involving the read and write input. 
द मेमरी इज इन इनहिबिटेड स्टेट एट दैट टाइम द डेटा बस इज इन ए हाई इंपिडेंस स्टेट ओके हाई इंपिडेंस स्टेट इज नथिंग बट इट बिहेव लाइक ए ओपन सर्क्यूट ओके देर इज नो कनेक्शन बिटवीन द इनपुट एंड द आउटपुट नेक्स्ट वन इन द सेकेंड केस the chip select inputs are also not enabled and the read and the write inputs are also not considered the memory is in a inhibited state at that time the data bus is in a high impedance state okay in the third case chip select inputs are not enabled and the read and the write inputs are not enabled the memory is in a inhibited state at that time the data bus is in a high impedance state okay next fourth case this entire ram chip can be in a operation state when cs1 is equal to 1 and uh, cs2 bar is equal to 0 whenever this condition is satisfied at that time only ram chip is in a operation mode okay in remaining all cases the ram chip is in a high impedance state okay so this case high impedance state because CS1 is equal to zero. CS2 bar is equal to zero. Next, this case, CS1 is equal to zero. CS2 bar is equal to one. The uh, the RAM chip is in a high impedance state. So in this case, the RAM chip is enabled, but read and write inputs are not enabled. At that time also. the memory is in a inhibited state at that time data bus is in a high impedance state whenever this condition is satisfied but read and write inputs are not enabled at that time the memory is in a inhibited state at that time the data bus is in a high impedance state next fourth case chip select one value is 1 chip select two value is 0 so this condition is satisfied next one rt input value is 0 and wr input value is 1 here uh, write input is enabled so whenever write input is enabled and this two chip select control inputs are also enabled we have to perform the right operation okay whenever cs1 is equal to 1 and cs2 bar is equal to 0 the ram chip is in a read mode or a write mode whenever the write input is enabled the memory stores a byte from the data bus in a location specified by the address lines okay so that means during the write operation whatever the content is there in the data bus that content is stored in the ram chip the transfer of data from the cpu to the ram through the data bus whatever the content that is placed in the data bus that content is stored into the ram chip during the write operation so input data to the ram okay we are storing the data into the ram in write operation only next one when the chip select control inputs value cs1 is equal to 1 cs2 bar is equal to 0 so here read in read input is enabled and write input is not enabled 
Okay, at that time we have to perform read operation. So when the read input is enabled, whatever the selected byte is there, the content of the selected byte is placed into the data bus. Okay, so in which byte, in which byte that is selected by the address lines, the content of that selected byte is placed into the data bus in the read operation. Whenever the read input is enabled, the content of the selected byte from the RAM chip that can be placed into the data bus. That means the transfer of data from RAM chip to the CPU through the data bus. So that means output data from RAM. We are transferring the output data from the RAM in read operation. Okay. We are transferring the data into the RAM as input data in write operation. Next, last case. So CS1 is equal to 1, CS2 bar is equal to 1. So in this case, the RAM chip is, is not in a operation mode. So here read and write inputs are not enabled. The memory is in a inhibited state. So the at that time, the status of the data bus is high impedance state. The RAM chip can be in operational mode only when CS1 is equal to 1 and the CS2 bar is equal to 0. At that time only we are performing either read operation or a write operation by enabling the corresponding read input or a write input. Okay, so this is called as the operation of the function. This is called as the function table of the RAM chip. Next one. So this diagram, figure C, shows the block diagram of a ROM chip. Okay. The capacity of the ROM chip is 512 into 8. That means it consists of 512 words. Each word contains 8 bits. Okay. ROM stands for read only memory. Next one. This ROM chip can contain only three inputs. First two can be called as chip select control inputs. So chip select one can be denoted by CS1. Chip select two can be denoted by CS2 bar. So these two chip select control inputs are used for enabling the RAM chip when it is selected by the CPU. Next one, third input is AD9. So this is a 9-bit address. For you that 9-bit address, we have to select only one word among the words. Okay? Here, how many number of words are present? 512 words present. Okay. So, want to select only one word, how many number of address bits required. So that is 512 can be written in terms of two powers. So in the power 9 is there. So therefore 9 bit address is required to select only one word among the five words. Next one. So this is 8 bit data bus. Okay. So it is only unidirectional data bus. Because on the ROM chip, we can perform only read operation. We do not perform write operation. Because ROM is a permanent memory. Once the data is stored into the ROM, it cannot be changed. The data can be stored into the ROM while it is manufacturing. During manufacturing, the data can be stored 
leading to the wrong. Okay. So because of that reason, only we are performing read operation only. That means the transfer of data from the selected byte the RAM that can be transferred to the CPU. Only read operation can be performed. We do not perform write operation. Because of the trend, we do not specify read and write control inputs. Only we are performing only one operation on the RAM, that is a read operation. So that we do not mention here two inputs, D and WR. Okay, only read operation can be performed. So that the data bus is only unidirectional data bus. But here on the RAM chip, we are performing both read and write operations. Here we are specifying read input and write input so that bidirectional data bus is there. But here only one operation we have to perform that is read operation so that the unidirectional 8-bit data bus is there in ROM chip. Okay. Next one. By using this chip select control inputs, we are enabling the RAM chip when it is selected by the uh, CPU. At that time, whatever the uh, word that is selected by the address line, the content of that address line can be transferred to the uh, data bus. From that data bus, that can be transferred to the CPU. So this is the block diagram of RAM chip. Here also the RAM chip, the ROM chip can be in operational mode when CS1 is equal to 1 and CS2 bar is equal to 0. Only this condition is satisfied at that time the ROM chip can be in operational mode at that time, we have to perform only read operation. In remaining all cases, the ROM chip is in a high impedance state. Okay, that means it behaves like as a open circuit. There is no connection between the input and the output. Okay, in this condition only, the ROM chip can be in a operational mode. So here this condition can be used for both RAM chip and ROM chip. Both RAM chip and ROM chip can be in operational mode only when CS1 is equal to 1 and CS2 bar is equal to 0. Okay. At that time we are performing either read operation or a write operation in the case of RAM chip. In this case, we are performing only read operation on the ROM chip. Both RAM and the ROM chips belongs to the main memory. So main memory contains two types of uh, uh, Two types of memory. First one is random access memory. Second one is read only memory. Okay. So it is a temporary memory and it is a permanent memory. It is a volatile memory. That means whatever the data that is stored in the random access memory that is available only when the power is in on position. Once the power is turned off, whatever the data that is present in the RAM that is erased. Whereas ROM is non-volatile, so that means whatever the data that is present in the ROM that can be stored permanently whether the power is turned on or turned off. Okay. So this is the description about the RAM chip and its function table and ROM chip. Okay. 
in the next video we have to discuss about uh, static ram dynamic ram and the memory address map i hope all of you understanding this video if any doubts in this video please put your doubts in the comment section i will try to clarify your doubts if you really like this video please subscribe my youtube channel so divya sridivasara after subscribing my youtube channel click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for better understanding of computer architecture or our computer organization course go to this channel go to the playlist called computer architecture or our computer organization it contains 81 videos thank you thank you one and all for watching this video